Okay, here we go. Hello, friends. How are you? My name is Amanda May, and this is my channel, Artif Design, where we celebrate all things counted cross stitch, sustainable stitching, and making all the things. This is Luna Moon. I've got Loki Apple right over here. If they start snoring, that's what it is, the pugs. <laughs> Today is the one year anniversary or my gotcha day when I adopted these two little puggies. So there will be some sort of T-R-E-A-T -E in order a little bit later today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And then if you are returning, I am so happy that you came back to visit with me this week. I am still without official air conditioning here in Maryland. Fingers crossed it will be worked on later this month. <laughs> if you see me fogging up or molting, <laughs> that's what's going on. I, oh, I have so much to talk about. I have cross stitch. I have some unconventional uh, rug projects to show you complete with the hula hoop loom over here. I've got some questions and answers, my, you know, my crafting with kids, and then we're going to do a giveaway. Ah! I reached 2,000 subscribers a couple weeks ago. Thank you all so much. Yay! And so I have a little goodie bag, goodie basket, goodie package to send off. And all the things. I'm so excited. So I'd love to get started and show you what I have been stitching on this week and then answer some questions. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to, Luna, can you just kind of hang out for a minute? Yeah, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> okay, I worked on uh, two, well, three projects, but two um, personal projects this week. Last week, I finished the fish, uh, and I have not, <laughs> no, you can't climb. Are you going to climb up there? No, I just need you to lay down, honey. Just lay down. Come here, come here. Ah. Okay, I was going to show this next, but she's walking on it like it's about to fall over. Okay. <laughs> Hi, babe. So I finished this from last week and then I started making some big progress on, oh, uh, I got another bag. So I still have my, I still have my pug bag here, but it's filling up with projects. So I've moved on. I have this new one here and I'll I didn't just get the tote. I'll show you what else I got with it. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're, I'm sorry. I'm discombobulated. The pugs wanted to be on my lap today because nothing says happy summer. Are you seriously climbing up there again? Look at this. Nothing says happy summer like pugs wanting to lay right on top of you. That and starting to, you know, make rugs in 90 degree weather. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me move this back. All right, here we go. I worked on the Barbara Anna piece, the Eagle piece. I really, I really like it. And at, from the photo, I thought that the red was going to be a different red, but it's actually 919, the DMC, and it's like a really pretty copper red, and I really like it. So I am using the DMC and I'm using fabric that was gifted to me and I've got a good portion of the Eagle done. Seriously, babe, you're going to do that right there. Good portion of the Eagle done. I'm doing all DMC. It is a uh, two over two. Seriously. Look at this. Hey, are you supposed to be chewing on my projects? Hey, Hey, that's mine. That's mine. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> no chew on my stuff. <laughs> okay. I got most of the eagle done. Babe, you're, you're killing me. I did not have DMC 779, which is like a brown. So I, I got this brown. It was part of the Kitten Stitcher Limited Edition from the Gentle Art. So I grabbed that. And I'm, I'm really happy with it. So that's my Barbara Anna piece that I have been working on. I have made a little bit of progress 
on the first part of the Lindy Stitches, the name is a mystery stitch along hosted by Stephanie Webb. And I got the first part done. And then the second part, it says Onward Noble Steed. So I need to start working on that. I made a mistake in her hair. So I ended up adding a length. Her hair is a little bit longer here. I stitched it a little bit longer. The purple here is Silks For You. And everything is that this is all the called for DMC except for that purple. And I'm debating about adding the words in one of these colors that was gifted that were gifted to me by Allie. So one is like a really, really variegated and it's got blue and purple and brown, which goes with the colors or just stick with the blue. A lot of people are making guesses on what she is writing. And I know some people have said alligator and the other color it's like 3011 is the color or uh the kudzu which is a, is a variegated green and they were saying maybe it's an alligator well i my two guesses are the loch ness monster like so mythical the loch ness monster and then my other guess is a dragon because dragons typically are shown like green and yellow. So the, the color palette, green, yellow, brown, white, and a little bit of purple. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might be a dragon. And so someone said alligator, someone said snake. I, I think it's a dragon. I hope it's a dragon. How fun was that be? Onward noble steed, <laughs> ride a dragon. I know that if dragons were real, I'd like to ride a dragon, right? Oh, when I was in China, uh, I went in high school and, oh my gosh, I, the, the beautiful dragon, oh, all the different cultures and all the different dragons, right? Okay, so that's what I worked on this week and they're in my new bags that I need. So my two, I got this fabric from Kitten Stitcher. I know she's had some really cute like ephemera fabrics, like with the little buttons and, oh my gosh not enough time in the day. <laughs> so I have that. And like I said, I, I, I've now moved over into a new tote, which is awesome. I have, Oh, what do I want to talk about? Oh, it's Jolly July. For all of you who are celebrating Jolly July, I am going to be starting some ornaments. So I looked in my current issue and I picked out two that I'd, I'd like to do and the first one is the from Autumn Lane Stitchery it's the little snowman and I loved his top hat and I think he's really cute so I think I would like I'm gonna I would like to work on this and then the second one it's by Karen Kluba of Rosewood Manor and it's this celestial the wish upon a star and both of these are in the this August issue. So those are two that I'd like to start for Jolly July. I haven't started them yet. I've been doing a lot of projects with my kids, crafting with kids. So I want to show you that you all asked me about like what loom I'm going to use. So I attempted to make the hula hoop loom, dollar store hula hoop, some acrylic yarn, and we started. My three-year-old got this far and he was like, no more. I don't like that. So that got put on the back burner and I started working with some of the knits that I have. I was um, gifted, handed over. I have a weakness for textiles. I can't help it. Anyway, I was given some fabric knit and I don't know how to sew knit fabric. So I ended up making it into like a yarn I'll show you and I started so I made strips and I started crocheting a rug so I don't know how big I'm gonna make it but I my kid I have my crochet hook here and then <laughs> so I'm using this big one it's like a 10 millimeter yeah uh, and my kid sits on my lap because again, nothing says happy summer, like stitching with a rug on your lap and then a kid on top of you also. 
And anyway, he's like just kind of stabbing at the rug with the crochet hook and I'm crocheting. And <laughs> so I'm, I'm working on this one. And then, yeah, and it's got like the knit balls everywhere. And then my other, I'll show maybe when my other pug moves, I'll show you the other rug I've been working on. That one, I did not do it properly. I did the long lengths with my crochet hook and then I whip stitched them together with the yarn. So I sewed it together like a braided rug, but sewed it. I tried, and this one, I'm actually directly crocheting into the layer and I keep, I'm going around and around. I wanted to show you in case you are interested. So you take your length and then you put through, I am already made little slits with the scissors. And you can use this so if you've got like t-shirts you can make um it's called t-shirt yarn or old knits say they have stains where you can't donate them because they have stains because they'll just get thrown away uh, you can cut them up and make like t-shirt yarn or knit yarn and then so you take it and i'm literally like crocheting it right into the fabric never done this on camera before. So I'm just with the knot and all, and then doing another, and then going in and continuing around. So that is what I have been working on. I haven't crocheted in years, and I just picked up the crochet needles and started working on this. It's been nice, um, apart from I should have started my crochet projects in the dead of winter when it was you know 10 degrees outside and not when it's 90 and my air conditioner is broken so that's <laughs> what i've been working on and i just have the bit and i've just been cutting and then trying to keep the fabric going in different colors i know i don't know what i'm going to do with this thing but it's being made and i rescued some fabric from being thrown away um People are really quick to like make dump runs, like just throw everything in the dump. What are you gonna do? Okay, so many people expressed how much they love the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine and I couldn't agree more. So thank you all for your comments about this magazine. I got a couple other questions about like some from past episodes. And one of the questions was asking me, I had, made a comment that in this difficult time I decided like my kids have been asking for fruit salads and stuff that I'm gonna start serving some of them for fun like in the nice china and we've had tea parties with the nice tea our tea sets rather than just the plastic Fisher Price tea sets I read a really interesting article about you know you burn burn the nice candle use the nice china because what are you waiting for you're waiting for this like theoretical time that may never come, like to have the fancy dinner party or to have the fancy expensive scented candle being burned. And I don't remember the author of the piece, but I, someone asked me what my China looked like. So I wanted to share it. So this is, I was given this, it was uh, my husband's great aunt's China and it's the Bavaria Orleans print and it's got like these really precious pink roses and I've been trying to you know keep keep very good care of it treasure it um but use it too because I don't want stuff just stashed away but I do have like my thimble like my little thimble collection and some of my stuff like intermingled with my china my china cover so I swear it's kind of cross-stitch related <laughs> So that was one of the questions that I had and someone else asked said that they went out right away and got the old tattered flag floss pack and they're going to try it out. That's awesome. Uh, again, I purchased this. I just wanted to try out her colors. So I bought the floss pack. I think it was under $15 for all the different colors and I've been super happy with it. Again, I'd like to do some more projects out of this that um and and I might use these colors again really super fun this sunburst is really fun if you're looking for a good orange and it's it's been fun I oh my gosh so much stuff I reached 2,000 subscribers 
So I'm going to do a little bit of give a giveaway and I'm going to show you that right now. It is uh, all my goodies. Um, I will say that thank you all subscribers from all across the world who have joined me on this cross stitch adventure, but um, I'm limiting the giveaway to just United States um, because of postage sending restrictions. But please know that I appreciate you if you are overseas and please know that I appreciate you. Okay, I am gonna give away, this is all, this is gonna be just one winner and it's gonna be open for two weeks, the, the giveaway. And the question that you need to answer is what, what's been your favorite summertime thing to watch this summer? It could be an older movie, a movie that you watch every year. It could be a new TV show series that just came out. It could be something that you're re-watching with all the streaming services and stuff out right now. There's been a lot of cool stuff. So for me, I just finished the fourth season of this sci-fi show called The Expanse on Amazon Prime, The Expanse, and that was really good. It's based on the books that I have not read, but I love science fiction, so I watched The Expanse. And then right now, uh, my husband and I are re-watching the show Life in Pieces, and it's on, I have um, the AT&T channel, AT&T Now, or it's on HBO Max. It's on one of those. Uh, what did I watch on HBO Max? Oh, anyway, as, as you can tell, I've been watching some tele <laughs> television. Um, so tell me if there's been something that you've enjoyed watching this summer. And I'm going to read the comments and then put you in the random um, comment picker based on my active subscribers, my public subscriber list. All right, so you will get, if you win, uh, one of my handmade cards that I made. You'll get uh, two spools of the new, this is the Sulky Acrylic um, Fillion, Fillion, the 12 weight. I did a little bit of a review tutorial thing on this. So you'll get two of the spools, a card. You will get my pattern, Salt Water Taffy Terry. And it and it's the companion piece to my banana pants purdy pattern. And you'll get the floss from Victorian Motto. There's um, banana. There's the 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 purdy orange, which is the custom color that Nancy Turner dyed. Then there's the yellow, which is the um, banana pants yellow, and then her shades of violet. And those are in this pattern. So you'll get those threads. You will also get my pattern, my destination North Pole Earth. It's Jolly July. I got to give out a Christmas, do a Christmas ornament. And then the last thing that will go in the package. So two patterns, thread, acrylic thread, cotton thread. The last thing that will go in the giveaway bag is my book stitching love and kindness this is a cutesy wootsy valentine's day style book but i figure it it it's always a good time to stitch love and send out love kindness and empathy i this is the this sampler right here is based on the historic sampler that i have love and virtue sampler and then i did an adaptation of that sampler which is in the book i've got punch needle there's 14 different projects in here and I think they're, I think it's super fun. So, I mean, I could be biased, but uh, you get love pug, um, sealed with a kiss, um, bunches of love, the, and it's all in color. The charts are in color. This is a mini that it's on and then it's mounted on a uh, wooden paddle from Not Forgotten Farm and I give you the information on where to find that. Then the, the original sampler as it is, I charted it um, based on the colors on the back of the sampler. And then the there's some sewing stuff. This pattern here, I have it charted in punch needle, but I there's been some wonderful 
uh, stitching it in cross stitch and the the pattern reads as cross stitch so you can follow it and do or it's not punch needle excuse me i'm getting ahead of myself it's all in colonial knots and you can do it as colonial knots as charted or you can do it in cross stitch i also have the miniature punch needle goodies and and then the love kindness and empathy sampler and i wanted to show you that what it looks like in real life if i can grab it oh here we go so here we go and that's it that's it's in the book so there's a bunch of good little projects in there i would love it if you if, if any of you would like to enter and even if you don't want to be considered for the for the giveaway you know drop me a comment anyway i really appreciate all of you for subscribing and liking and commenting on my videos. It's been a really awesome journey. I'm going into my second floss tube anniversary. So that's really cool. Um, so standard rules apply. You gotta be 18 or older. Please don't say giveaway. Tell me what you've been watching this summer and give a chance to win. And you gotta be in the United States. United States and United States territories <laughs> in order for me to send it. Okay. Let me put my sampler down and grab, what am I going to grab next? Oh, okay. Should we talk about, oh, I wanted to talk about, there's so much stuff to talk about. Okay. In my crafting with kids, the hula hoop loom failed. <sighs> Cross stitch accessories for my little pony. I think it's about to happen. I say that because my kid has been asking me to make the little accessories, like the little bow accessories. And yes, did I follow the tutorial by Java Girl Stitches Christy on her bows and then miniaturize them and put them on pony heads? Yes, yes I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, that's beads and wire and ribbon for accessories and then there might be accessories coming out in 14 count plastic canvas and cross stitch for ponies. Yeah, that might be happening. So crafting with kids. <laughs> okay, I have a couple things I want to talk about from Blackbird Designs out of the Sewing Club book. I went on a mission, mission to find and locate the proper supplies for the box finishes that are featured in this book. This is a market release book from 2020. I was recovering from my gallbladder surgery when I saw this uh, come out at market. And I knew it wasn't the after surgery medicine talking because this is a beautiful book and I had to have it. So upon further reflection, of this book the boxes you know I couldn't just go out here's the other box I couldn't just go down to my craft store and find these boxes because I had surgery and then the following week the world shut down and then the week after that my book arrived because I think everyone ordered this book so I had to wait for it which is fine totally fine anywho I have been home since March and I online researched and shopped and I found the boxes and I wanted to share what they look like and talk about them with you. So if you are doing the Blackbird and you're going to be finishing either one of those little projects, I found the boxes ah, and the corresponding things. So let me grab them. <sighs> I did not get the official paint color because I have a lot of my own acrylic paints that I'll just try to match as best I can. One of the things that I had never, a product that I had never used before was the Brie Wax, which is what they talk about in this book. And I've also noticed in some of the other Blackbird books, they, al they also use the Brie Wax. I searched for it all over online and ended up buying it on Amazon. 
I will have my link to it below. It is $20 for Brie Wax. I had no idea. It's not like you can buy like a little sample bit of it. No, like it, you, you, you're committed. I got it in the color light brown, which is what they said in the book. I'm happy to report that I had some old sheet that I was able to pull and use to apply the Brie Wax and I tested this on some of my little wood rounds and then I had an old desk that I know surprise surprise was going to be thrown away and I had to rescue it about six years ago well I rescued it I put it in my garden shed and there it sat for six years well I pulled that bad boy out well my husband pulled that bad boy out for me and I used the Brie Wax on that and it was awesome so now I've got to try doing it over a painted finish and see how the rewax works because the directions for Blackbird says you paint, sand, apply rewax, and then sand. I So I got this in light brown. Then I found the boxes. I ordered them by, they're by, Dar these are by Darius. And they're the unfinished wood match boxes. And if you want to take a screenshot of that, this is for the, the larger finish, the six inch. And then this is the smaller one, one piece. And here, if you want to screenshot that, it's the four inch by two and a half by 1.5 inch. I found this on Dairy's. Dot com. I applied for an account and then you have a minimum order total and then all ah, la 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 la. So I, I got the boxes to try out and then because no two boxes should travel alone, I ordered the third box. This is not featured in any Blackbird books that I can find. However, I bought it. I'm going to put something on top of it. Yes. So Keep your eyes out in the coming months. I will have a finish that will be released and put on a box. And this one is the 8.8 by 5 by 5 by 3.3. If you want to take a screenshot. All right. So again, I have never met Barb and Alma of Blackbird Designs. I've never taken one of their classes. But now I know about Brie Wax. Thank you and matchboxes and I'm very excited. I'm gonna be finishing and stitching, you know, I'm gonna be like official, official. Not kind of official. I can, you know how you had that, I don't know if anybody, I struggle sometimes with imposter syndrome. Like I feel like I'm not really a cross stitch designer. I'm not really in the industry. Yeah, I don't know how much more you can be, but I'm learning and I'm, I'm working on not feeling that, you know, the imposter syndrome thing because my designs are good. I'm a published author. Things are good. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to learn. I'm going to have something finished on this big piece. If you have, again, if you have stuff lying around at your house, you can rip up, you know, for Brie Wax to do your finishes or, you know, make a rug. <laughs> Those are my things. I wanted to show you, I've got my, I got a new finish uh, for the new pattern that I released last week. And then I have a brand new punch needle pattern releasing that I wanted to show you. So let's start with my Eurovision inspired summer movie themed 14 count plastic canvas ugly sweater ornament. Whew, don't make me say that three times fast. Okay. I watched the new film that came out called Eurovision. It's got Rachel McAdams and Will Ferrell in it. And I found it delightful. It's got a lot of music. Fun fact, Pierce Brosnan is in the movie. And here's yet another movie with Pierce Brosnan and ABBA music. Because <laughs> so, he did Mamma Mia and now this movie, Eurovision. Anyway, there's a little tiny part in the film. It's like, if you blinked, you might miss it. But I paused it because I'm just that person. And one of the lines in the film is, oh, and that's an angry sweater. And did I chart the angry sweater? I did. 
Did I stitch it on 14 count plastic canvas and mount it into an ornament? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so <laughs> here is my finished ornament. It is loosely based on the movie Knit. I took some artistic freedom with it. I am definitely inspired by the movie, but not affiliated with the movie. I stitched it on the 14 count plastic canvas and then finished it on the back so you don't see my stitches with a piece of scrapbook paper that I can't cut out uh, in this this the same dimensions as the ornament. The plastic canvas is just how it sounds. I have the little pieces to show here so I trimmed off some of the edges. I did it in the clear 14 count and I used three strands of DMC and I could not be happier with it because who doesn't need a frowny angry face emoji spare aisle sweater look at that fair aisle yeah <laughs> so I finished that and I'll have you can get this pattern on my website um and then these little bits literally you can stitch them and then make the like my little pony I think I'm gonna make like a my little pony bracelet I know crafting with kids I'm eccentric I I don't I don't know what else to say <laughs> okay and then the last pattern that I have to show you is my new punch needle pattern and it is my sunflower cottage because I love it and my hair stuff has fallen out. I don't know if any of you know this, my hair's like actually growing. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, here we go. Here is my new punch needle pattern. And I love it. It's my little tiny mini pattern. And it's got the little purple cottage because who doesn't want a purple cottage? And it's got yellow and orange and blues. I love it. I finished it on a ceramic three and a half inch round ceramic coaster. I was inspired by a heart in hand, the earthware or heartware ceramics. When I found this, I found this at a thrift store. I wanted to show you though, you can finish your punch needle. I did batting uh, around the prim I did three layers of batting. So it, it gets that rounded shape. So you cut it out the size of your design and then about a quarter inch smaller for the second layer and then a quarter inch smaller from that for the third layer. So it, it goes three and a half, 3.25, um, three inches, the, the rounds. And then, so it helps to create that dome. And then I glued a, after gluing it all together, I glued a piece of, scrapbook paper onto the back so that this can go in here or out and then I also because I am a huge fan of trivet finishes thanks to Bindi Stitchy Designs I found a circular trivet and it could also fit in a little trivet and the cool thing about punch needle is that you can scale your image the pattern you can scale it up or down depending on how maybe you would want to finish it. So if say you don't want to do that, but you want to finish it in like a four inch hoop, you can, you can do that. And I, I provide two different sizes to scale of the pattern. I provided it in the 3.5 and in the four inch. So it's a six page pattern that you can get dig instant digital download. So I've got the directions, the color chart, and then it's scaled in two different ways. So this is my new punch needle pattern. I am working on, thank you all for your positive comments about my pear sampler, my the adaptation from the 16th century wood block print. I am working on getting this pattern up and ready and available. Please know that I have not forgotten about those of you who have requested this. I am working on it, I promise. <laughs> I've got so many fun things coming down the horizon, in the horizon. One of which I'm, or all of them, I'm hoping <laughs> will happen when I have my air conditioning so I can enjoy the process a little bit more. I am debating how I want to finish this. I 
thought about putting it on a project bag and now I feel like I need to make it into an ornament. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm excited to get my Barbara Anna piece finished, hopefully sooner rather than later. My random rug. Oh, I wanted to talk to really fast. I do use this little like makeup caddy thing sometimes for my projects and I've been using it more and more. Um, I am, I did use the size 26 Petite John James needle with the three strands of DMC for this plastic canvas ornament. I noticed that for me, the petite or the petite needle is really nice because I can't stitch in hand very well. Like bending, you can bend the plastic, but it can, I tried, it, it can warp weirdly. So you are still doing the stick and stab method like you would on perforated paper, but just a less of a chance of this breaking, but it's still, it's malleable. But the petite needle helps me where I can go in and out faster and I feel like more efficiently in stitching on the plastic canvas. So I just wanted to say that. So I'll have a link for the needles and the Brie Wax down below. Uh, what else? Oh, 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 okay, okay. I also wanted to show you this. Last month or six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, I was watching Country Stitchers. And then I've watched some other floss tube channels that have remarked about the sound and the volume about not being able to hear different floss tube videos. And Country Stitchers had discussed uh, a viewer who was hard of hearing. And once she started wearing earphones or to listen to videos, her experience on watching floss tube got a whole lot better because she could operate the sound better. And so I wanted to share with you all who are maybe frequent floss tube viewers that I I watch floss tube at night after usually after my kids go to bed and I have like the big chunky noise canceling headphones that I wear in order to listen to floss tube videos number one it's so I don't wake up the kids because unfortunately my dogs are barkers so when they hear like other people talking on camera which is fine, but if, if like dogs start barking in the video, then my dogs start barking and then it wakes up the kids and then like, it's this whole big thing. Well, my husband, he, he wears um, hearing aids and he has it Bluetooth synced where the TV and his hearing aids can match up. So he doesn't have to worry about anything because he could watch the, he could watch the TV on mute where I don't hear it at all, but it's going through his ears. Anyway, long story short, I was looking for like the ultimate gift for my husband for his birthday and I thought I could get him some anyway it didn't work out and I got them instead and I love them so I just wanted to share with you if you are hard of hearing and or you just like wearing earplugs or not earplugs earphones I have the big ones the bluetooth ones that fit over my ears but I also tried this new product and I love them. So I just, they're not noise canceling, but the, it sounds, it literally sounds like someone is talking like right, we're, it sounds to me like we're sitting in the same room and someone's talking to me when I tested these out and they were really, really cool. So I just wanted to show you, um, so you pair them, I paired them with my phone where you have it like Bluetooth enabled. So, cause that's, I watch floss tube on my phone. So you, I got it all paired and literally you pick them up. They charge like in the case too, which I thought was pretty cool. I've never had wireless earbuds before. I've only ever had my iPod ones or the ones that go over my head. But so you take it out right first and put it in and then the left and put it in and then they pair um, and pair means like they sync up and then you can listen. So if you're hard of hearing, it's just something to think about. Um, in a little case, anyway, I, <laughs> I really, I, I've really enjoyed these, the company, yeah, S-U-D-I-O, I will have their website linked below too. I, again, love watching Floss Tube. If this helps anybody, again, our household, we are hard of hearing household, so we always have the closed captioning on. I listen with my headphones, or now with my little... <laughs> 
<laughs> make sure I don't lose them. Oh, and anyway, I, I just something, if you're hard of hearing and you love watching floss tube and you, headphones are just something to consider, just throwing it out there. <laughs> I, oh my gosh. I appreciate all of you. I, really, I do. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sorry. I feel, I'm like hot and discombobulated over here. And I, I hope that you have a beautiful stitching week. Please tell me below a comment if you want to be entered in my giveaway, which summer show or movie or sitcom or rerun or, you know, whatever you've been watching, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. I know several people are watching the Hallmark channel with the Christmas movies, which is so darling. So whatever you're into, uh, <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Um, please know that you matter, your stitching matters, and I can't wait to talk to you next week about cross stitch. Take care, my friends.